Oh. In this video, I'm only talking to about three types of people. Have you ever thought about being a security guard? Have you ever thought about making a security job a part-time job? Had you ever moved into a new place? Maybe a new area, a new country, new city, new state, whatever. And thought about being a security guard just to make ends meet? Don't trip. If you are one of those people, I got your back. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons about being a security guard. All right? Whether you knew, whether you are fully experienced. By the end of this video, I'm going to make you feel me. All right? Now, one of the good things about being a security guard is you get paid for doing things you like to do. Right? I'm at work right now. Here goes the proof. And work as we speak. Just on the computer making videos. Alright? Just in the office. By myself too. Now, let's get into this shit. In this video, I want to let you guys know the pros and the cons of being a securitas. A security. So it won't be no confusion. No, none of that shit by the end of this video. And I was going to make this a two-part series, which I still might do. But I was going to make the two-part series between the pros and the cons. Now I'm going to put everything all in one. And then if I have some more things I can come up with or think of, then I'll put that in the next video. That being said, let's get to some of this shit. Now, I'm going to start this off with the cons. Before I make you feel a little good about being a security guard, or wanting to be a security guard, let me start it off with a little danger. That's right, the word danger. Yeah, that's right, you guys, I don't edit shit. No editing, strictly raw. But facts. Okay, the danger part about it is the danger. What I mean by that is, It's going to be some. Well, let me switch that up. It depending, depending on the spots you work at. Because I've been working security for about not even long, about a year. And let me tell you guys this: sometimes you get put in good areas. Sometimes you get put in bad areas. If you are put in a good area, you have to worry about shit. I mean, but if you're the type of person you like to see a little drama every now and then, or like to cope with the people outside of you, you might want to get put in a, a mediocre area. This right here, it's a pretty good area, which means you're just chilling, pretty boring, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about no controversy, no chaos, you dig? But the dangerous part of it is, let's say you got somebody who wants to hit a lick by the meaning of hitting a lick what i'm saying is somebody wants to rob your area you have to how the crisis signal said you have to let your nuts hang and handle that business pause all right but other than that if you're in a dangerous area you know where you got all type of not it's not only people sometimes it's animals raccoons possums rats you have to secure all that type of shit, all right? Robberies. That's all of what I mean when it comes out to danger, all right? So let's get into some good things before I scare you too much. But we're going to get back to that. So let's continue to the good, all right? And I'm going to put, what did I put? It's not slavery. You can definitely work security and not feel like you're being drenched for your fucking money, all right? And you're talking to the right one because I done worked maintenance, 
welding, painting. I was unloading and unloading, stocking. I've been to all of those jobs that have you really drenched. Now, as, out of all the jobs I worked at, security is the most laid back. You don't have to really meet a porter. You don't have to worry about lifting a whole bunch of boxes. You're pretty much just chilling. Most of the time, I would say about 95% of the time as a security guard. You're pretty much just chilling, right? Um, what else did I put on? Let me give you one more before I get back to the dangerous part. Eating. You like to eat? Security is your thing. You can eat all day. Matter of fact, a lot of people start gaining weight once they start working security. Because all you do is you're, you're bored, you can eat. Pretty much every security company lets you eat at the job. So you gotta worry about hunger, unless you just don't have no money. And that's part of the bad side too. If you don't got no money as a security guard, <laughs> You might just want to save your money a little bit because there's going to be times where you're going to be bored and you're going to be like, damn, I can easily just go to the store. You're going to need a car, you know, things of that nature. But all those things require money, all right? That being said, let's hit you with some more danger, all right? Spookiness. I had to say this, and this comes from me and my experience of being a security guard. If you're the type of person, now me, I can kind of cope with this more because I'm a big fan of horror movies. I'm a big fan of scary movies. I'm a big fan of Halloween, period. Especially as growing up. You know, I still watch horror movies now and then, but it's not about me. This is about me, but me speaking to the people. And if you're the type of person, you know, we like scary shit, horror movies, you better suck it up because when it comes down to working security you might be in places sometimes that is very spooky right sometimes they put you in places by yourself you're lucky you might get a friend or a partner um if i was you i would try to keep um some type of electronic on standby just in case you need to call somebody to vent to just in case you need to call the fucking police um another thing is um I have to say this because I know a lot of people, before I started working security myself, some people would tell me, um, damn, I'm not going to lie, sometimes it's dark as hell, it gets real creepy and spooky at night, nobody's there with you, and I'm thinking the whole time, I, I can handle that, because I'm a big fan of scary movies, shit, Scream is one of my favorite movies, but let me tell you guys this, when it comes down to being a security guard, that's why a lot of people get paid for being a security guard because one of the cons about it is shit like this. Right now, I can show you guys it. I was going to do it, but I'm not going to do it to you guys, all right? I can show you guys. It looks spooky around here at night. It's very spooky. Especially around 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to make you guys feel me like you're here with me. But if you don't like spookiness, that could be a bad thing when it comes down to security. But the difference is when you're getting when you're watching a horror movie, you don't get paid for it. Matter of fact, sometimes you may have to pay to watch that scary movie. But here, you get paid for the spookiness, right? So if you don't like spookiness, you better suck it up and get this money. Or either that, security isn't an option for you. That being said, let's keep this train rolling. Another thing I'm going to put when it comes down to Let's just get into some more good. You get paid, and I said this earlier, you get paid for whatever you like to do. Whatever you like to do, you get paid for it. For instance, I like to go on YouTube. I like to talk on the phone every now and then. I like to make videos. I'm getting paid to make this very video. That's right. I like to listen to music. As you guys can hear in the background, I'm getting paid to listen to music. Um, I like to work out. You kill two birds with one stone. Anything that you like to do, you get paid and do it. I like to work out. So sometimes I bust my push-ups, bust my sit-ups, bust my pull-ups, and get paid for doing it. That's right. When it comes down to being a security guard, it's pros and cons. But, in my opinion, the pros so far, the pros overpowers the cons. All right? Anything else for y'all?
that's basically it for today, okay? Yeah, that's basically it. If I got any more that I want to bring up, I'll let you guys know in another video, etc., etc. Um, any more times, really, though? This is the best one, and I'm glad I remembered this before I got off. But remember, y'all, to save the best for last. With last, if not least, let me tell y'all this. Now, if you are a gang member, if you are affiliated with gangs, listen, all my family members gang bang, so trust me, I understand. But if you're not the type of person you like to call the police, you don't have to call them, right? Hypothetically speaking. You don't have to call the police. That's your choice. Now, this is one of the things I don't like about being a security guard. Because when it comes down to the authorities coming here, it's your choice. Now, I can give you some advice, but I can't tell you what to do with your life. And let me tell you something else before I come to this camera. If you're the type of person... You know, you're game bang, or you don't agree when it comes down to calling the police. You guys have to understand, unless you are a licensed security guard, unless you carry your gun, unless you, you know, carry any type of weapon or artillery on you as a security guard, it might suck when it comes down to calling 911. Because your biggest protection is yourself. All you have is yourself. So, like me, me personally, I box. Um, and before I give you guys a huge tip, which can kind of keep you from calling the police, let me let, let me let you know this. Excuse the fuck up, you know, I'll edit shit. Stay calm. That's the biggest thing you could do as being a security guard. Stay calm, right? Because. When it comes down to not stay calm, you want to use all that energy so well. Don't spend all your energy on not staying calm when you don't need to not be calm. Use it when it comes down to the point when you can't be calm. Now, let me say this before I get off. Now, I'm going to this. One thing I just do to a person, because I'm not a snitch. I don't like to call the fucking police. I don't like to call the fucking hold up. I try to let people know. Listen. I got a job to do here. I'm not in the business of being no snitch. I'm not a snitch. You don't have to explain that for me. Just in case, let the people feel you. A lot of times you can talk things out. Calling the police and fighting or shooting is the last thing you want to do. So just try to let them know, you know what? If I have to call the police, I will. So I'm just warning you guys. Like let's just say they're trespassing. I'm just warning you guys. Leave the premises, I'm going to have to call the police. If he tries to cuss you out, just say, walk away. Walk away if you have to, all right? Now, if it comes down to a point where you have to defend yourself, defend yourself. But walk away. Hopefully, they put their thoughts together and they say, you know what? Let's just leave before you call the police, all right? Then you can say another thing that can scare them. Be like, you know, you're on camera. Just leave now. But the main thing you can do is this. Don't get it twisted. If push comes to shove, you might have to do what you don't like to do. It's call the police. But first, try to talk it out with them. Let them know I'm at work. I'm just trying to do my job. But if I have to, I will call the police. All right? That don't make you a snitch. No, none of that. Because at the end of the day, I have never, me, securing places, I have never called the police. Now, it has been a situation where I had to get on the phone and pretend like I was doing some shit. Not even call the police, but, you know, call someone, period. But, in the day, you guys, when it comes down to being a security guard, that's one of the biggest cons. Everything falls on you. But, as I said, the pros or powers and cons. I'm out.